Hi there, thanks for watching. What I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to do serial communication with the Arduino. And what this is, is communicating between the computer and the Arduino. And we can do some pretty cool stuff. We're going to use the Arduino to control something on the computer. Uh, now this will involve downloading something else as well as the Arduino IDE. So what you have to do is go to processing.org and then press on download. Give a donation if you want to and then click on whatever operating system you've got and download it to your computer. <coughs> you need to install this if you want to do serial processing with your Arduino pretty much. When you're doing that and whilst it's loading if you want to you could go to tutorials and just have a little look around. It might be useful to get used to it. Have a look at some examples maybe. Stuff like that. Okay, once that's downloaded we'll get on with the actual project with the wiring up the Arduino and all that type of stuff. I'm going to end the recording now just whilst mine downloads but make sure you've got this downloaded, the right operating system and stuff at processing.org and it might be useful to just have a look at some of the tutorials and examples before we go on to the actual project, but you don't have to, of course. I'm now very quickly just going to go over two more things uh, that you might not have encountered if you haven't done serial processing before. First one's serial.write, which sends information from the Arduino to an attached computer. And it doesn't send it as in, it's a bit like serial.print, where it, send, it prints it to the serial monitor. Except from serial.write it sends values between 0 to 255 as raw bytes, so it's not readable by a human. And this makes the stuff that you can send quite limited, but it's very quick. Serial buffer is just something that holds into, onto information until it's read by a program. So they're just two very quick definitions I thought I'd go over before I do the wiring diagram. Okay, now the first step that you need to do is to put the code, do some coding on the actual Arduino IDE before we do the processing. Now the actual code is very, very small. All we need to do is initialize serial communication, and it says here serial.begin 9600, and that is the standard rate of communication between the Arduino and the serial monitor because they need to agree on a certain speed of communication, otherwise, it won't work and there's different speeds that we could use. Then we need to read the value of A0, divide by 4, and send it as a byte over the serial connection. And then this is what we talked about earlier, serial.write. And we said it's like serial.read, but with processing, and it'll uh, send it to the connected computer. Analog read A0 divided by 4, and then just a delay of 1 millisecond. That is all the code that you'll need on the actual Arduino, but there's a lot more on the processing. I'll just very quickly now go through the processing code, and it should be quite easy because I know it looks like a lot, but there's a lot of comments and stuff. The first line is just importing the serial processing library because unlike the Arduino, it, um, it doesn't know about serial ports without including an external library. We also need to create an instance of the serial library. And we will use this uniquely named object whenever you want to use the serial connection. Then we create an instance of pi image. Um, and this is just what you do to use images in processing. You need to create an object that will hold the image and then give it a name. Then we need to do a variable to hold the background colour. So that's just an integer variable, background colour equals zero. And then void setup. We're just setting up the size, um, surface set dot res uh, set resizable true, so it can be resized, and set the color mode to hue, saturation, brightness, like here. The next part we need to load the Arduino logo, which is this bit, and this will just load the Arduino logo from their website, which we've got here, and it'll get the image off uh, into the into this thing here. And I'll just load that image, that's what a load image does, it'll just load the image from the web. Then we create the window to the same size as the image, 
the surface dot set size, logo dot width, logo dot height. So I'll just set the surfaces the exact same size as this. Then we print a list of the available serial ports for processing status window. Status window. Print line available serial ports, print line serial dot list. So it'll just print the available serial ports there. And then we need to tell the serial object the information it needs to communicate with the Arduino. So we need to change serial list naught to the correct port corresponding to the Arduino board. The last parameter, e.g. 9600, is the speed of communication and it has to correspond to the value passed to serial.begin and the Arduino sketch. Um, so my port equals new serial this serial.list and then that. And then if you know the name of the port used by the, by the Arduino board, you can specify it directly like this. So instead of doing that, you can just put COM1. And then finally, in this void, dot dr void draw loop, uh, if there's any information in the serial port, if my port dot available uh, greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, there will be information. And we talked earlier about... Uh, Serial dot right, serial dot buffer. This is the buffer storing information. Uh, print the value to the status window. Print line BG color. Draw the background. The variable BG color contains the hue determined by the value from the serial port. So background BG color two five five two five five, and then just draw the Arduino logo. Okay, now I'll put both the code for this and the other code. Um, yeah, this. I'll put these both onto the new website so that it'll be reasonably easy to get to because you wouldn't want to have to type all of that out. Okay, um, I'll just end the screen recording now. Upload. I'll just end the screen recording now and show you what it does and how to get it working. Let's just do the wiring now. The actual amount of hardware you'll need is very limited. All you'll need is an Arduino of some sort, uh, a USB cable, mini breadboard, a few jumper wires and a potentiometer. Put the potentiometer on the breadboard. Like, sorry. Like that. Then wire one of the sides. 5 volts on the Arduino. Just put it in point of, just put it in your view. One of the sides to 5 volts on the Arduino. One of the sides to ground. And then the middle pin to analog A0. Okay then, when you've uploaded everything, when you've uploaded your Arduino sketch to the board and you've uploaded, sorry, when you've uploaded the Arduino sketch to the board and when you've pressed play up here, whenever you turn the potentiometer, the colour will change on here. Um, now my computer's running a little bit laggy, so I haven't got the best result, but you can see the colour change as I turn the potentiometer. Then turn it back up again, or down more like. All that happens whenever you turn the potentiometer down or up. Right, I will leave all of this code in um, the. I will leave a link to the website in my description, and I'll do a post on it just with all this code and all the other code and a few instructions and maybe a download link and some it because that might be useful to you but thanks for watching and I hope that you have luck with this project but if you don't just uh, comment or email unofficialodwinistutorials at gmail.com I'll put that in the description as well thanks for watching See